This is episode number 266 of the Middle Country Public Library podcast. Hello and welcome. Sal DiVincenzo here with my fabulous colleagues, Sarah Fate, Nicole Rambo. Hello. How's everyone doing? Good. Mm. We have a little bit of a special episode this week. Uh, It is Women's History Month. Mm. So we're going to get to that (laughs) in... It, yeah, did you know that? Yeah, it is. And it's also uh, what well, last week was like Women's Equity Pay Day, where like women would have to work up to that day in March to equal a year's worth of pay for men. Oh, interesting. So they have to work an extra like three months to okay. make the same pay as a man makes in a year. Okay. Oh. Yeah. It was also Women's History Day, right? International Women's Day. So there's a lot of women's stuff going on. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of women's stuff going on. So that's what we're going to concentrate on this show today, this episode. Uh, but first, we have a, a couple of pieces of housekeeping. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nicole, why don't you go first? Because I think that's the first thing that's happening, correct? Yeah. Mine starting March 23rd. Okay, what's happening March 23rd? <laughs> registration, baby. All right, spring registration. The favorite time of year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, happens four times a year. Um, so yeah, next Thursday, March 23rd is the first day of registration. That's for the children's programs. So children and teens. Great. And then on Friday will be the adult program registration starts at nine 30. As soon as we open, you can register yourself, um, online or you can call us. We'll do it over the phone. You can come down. We can help you here. Um, and then for adults, it's two weeks after the out of district for out of district. Yes. Patrons can register for, is it? All programs or just the any ones program? That are yes, that's out of district. Out of district. Yeah, any program yeah. out of district program. Yeah. yeah. So like all the defensive driving ones, I know are very popular. Incredibly popular with um, all patrons in district and out of district. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. So quarterly, you should be getting them any day now any if day. you haven't gotten them already. And um, so circle your programs that you want to get in. I will say, and I know over you know on you services side, babies program, babies buggy, toddler tango. Any cooking program, mm, those, same. those fill up. So, you know, mark those. Have If you're at work, you know, have maybe, you know, someone that's at home that can uh, <laughs> register for yeah. you. You know, like seriously, they, they book up pretty fast. You can use the online programming thing now, right? I feel like that's yeah. a little faster, our new Vega system. Yeah. Mm. So, so, you know, if you're at a desk at work and you can just sneak a tab open, register for <laughs> some programs real quick. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so, but those, I know, on our side fill up really fast. And what it's adult, what are your hot programs? Cooking, crafts, crafts and offensive driving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are the major ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also, history does pretty good. Yeah, they're, but they're not going to fill up. But, but they don't fill up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so cool. Yep. All right. Well, thanks, Nicole, for that. And Sarah, you have an announcement to make? Yes. So, um, if you're listening to our podcast, <laughs> you're like, I could do that. Chances are <laughs> better. <laughs> chances are you want to do your own podcast, right? <laughs> so we do have a media studio at the innovation space that will be ready for booking for your own recordings. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Starting on March 28th, you'll be able to register for our training seminars and how to use the uh, equipment. And these will take place in April. So you sign up in March and the, uh, Training will begin in April. And then after you take the training, you'll be certified to use the equipment and book the studio, which will begin the first week of May. So it'll be March, April, May. Yes. Okay. Well, good. So for more information, you can always visit our blog at blog.mcplpodcast.com. Yes. Sarah is working on that, doing a bang up job over there. Bang up. <laughs> Well, thank you, Sarah. You're appreciate welcome. that. And and again, there is a, a contract stipulation when you do sign up to use the podcast that you can't be more fabulous than we are. So <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Everyone is better than us. I don't understand. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, okay. All right. So thank you uh, for that. We're mm-hmm. done with housekeeping. And so it is Women's History Month, and I wanted to bring up the 25 fascinating facts for Women's History Month and all year long. How about that? Please 25. 25. Well, I might not do all 25. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because this is only a 20-minute show. But I'll ask you, uh, does anybody know when the first Women's History Day was held? 1980. Oh, see? I, I Look, I had no idea <laughs> no, no, that it went this far back. Only 1920? Mm. Even farther back. Wow. 1880. No, too almost close, but too far. Uh, oh. February twenty eighth, nineteen oh nine, marked the first Women's History Day in New York City. 
Okay. Because, you know, we're awesome here in New York. Mm. Uh, it commemorated the one-year anniversary of the garment workers' strikes when 15,000 women marched through lower Manhattan. Oh, nice. Wow. The garment, history, the garment history strikes was a strike between 1909 and 1910. Immigrant uh, women who worked in the garment factories held a strike to protest their working conditions. Most of them were teen girls who worked 12-hour days. And in one factory, the Triangle Shirtwaist Company, employees were only paid $15 a week. Well, yeah, and then they all died in a horrific fire, right? There was also a horrific yeah. fire, yes. Yeah. God. Yes. So uh, the day became Women's History Week in 1978. Oh, okay. Mm. So okay. day to week. To week and, and to month. month. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> what do you think the month was? What year was that? I think one of you were close to that. So I'll say, yeah, it was the 80s. 85? I, I said 1980, so. Oh, yeah, it's 1987. Yeah. <laughs> so women's organizations, including the National Women's History Alliance, campaigned yearly to recognize Women's History Week. But in 1980, President Jimmy Carter declared the week Aww. of March 8th Women's History Week across the country. And by 1986, 14 states had declared the entire month of March Women's History Month. So the following year, in March of 87, activists were successful. They lobbied Congress to declare March Women's History Month. Nice. So fairly, I want to say fairly recent, but it's not. It's, I'm just old. No, it's recent. <laughs> the mid-80s. That's the year I was born, so it's there very you go. recent. I'm see? very young. Oh, see, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what happened. You were born and they're like, yes. hey, yeah. You know. Celebrate. Yes. So the president declares every March Women's History Month. So since 1995, Every president has issued a proclamation declaring it. So I guess mm. they have to declare it in order for it to happen. It's got to be an official. It's kind of like war. Interesting. You got to declare, <laughs> declare we don't war. We never learn any of this stuff. Did you learn this, Sarah? Uh -uh. I didn't learn anything. No. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so I bet you didn't know this. Probably not. <laughs> We're very bad women. <laughs> Did you know that every Women's History Month has a theme? No, definitely didn't know that. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. So you women, women's yeah, theme? I know. <laughs> women is not enough. So, so you won't. Enough? So you probably won't know this month's theme, <laughs> no. which is actually uh, quite interesting. It's celebrating women who tell our stories. Oh. Yes, this year the National Women's History Alliance, like authors and stuff, quote will encourage the recognition of women, past and present, who have been active in all forms of media. And storytelling, including print, radio, TV, stage, screen, blogs, podcasts, news, <laughs> and social media. Oh, yes. And in, uh, I like that. I like yeah. that there's a theme. I didn't know I that. Think, yeah, that's pretty cool. I guess you have to mix it up every year, right? Yeah. Because then it's just Can't like, just oh. be women. <laughs> <laughs> specific ones. <laughs> and that's another thing I'm going to isolate for the board. God. That's the Nicole women. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta put that in there and yeah, write that down. The time uh, 2020, the theme was Valiant Women of the Vote and Honored Women from the Original Suffrage Movement, mm -hmm. as well as women who continued the, strug the struggle in the 20th and 21st centuries. Mm. And in 22, the theme was I don't know why they're jumping around here. I don't know what happened. To <laughs> 21. Oh, I'm sorry, because the theme was extended in 21 and renamed Valiant Women of the Vote Refusing to be Silenced. Oh, damn. So I was like, they kept going. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like we're running out of women. So let's just, uh... Yes, let's just keep going. And yeah. in uh, 22, last year, it was- Still voting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they won't shut up, <laughs> these women. <laughs> And in 22, it was Women Providing Healing, Promoting Hope. The theme was not only honored by the tireless work of caregivers and frontline yeah, workers yeah. of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, but also the women of all backgrounds who provided compassionate healing and hope they for run the out of themes of patients, friends, I want to see like the history of, of the themes. I want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's the Women's History Alliance. We'll put that in the, in yeah. the blog. Yeah. Can mm -hmm. we put that in the blog? Mm -hmm. That'd be great. Of course. What was the first <laughs> territory... To grant women the right to vote in the United States. First territory. Yes. We have territories here? Well, obviously, <laughs> obviously, if it was a territory, then it was probably not officially a state, I'm guessing. I don't remember any territory. The so. Northwest Territory. <laughs> You're close. You're close. Probably Northeast. So, no, not Northeast. California? No, no. I'll give you one more hint. I don't, I don't know territory. It's, uh, yeah, so it's the Wyoming Territory. <laughs> oh. Uh, never oh. take it for granted that you can vote, ladies. 
That's what <laughs> that's what this says. Are you saying that because how stupid we are? Yes, no. <laughs> I was like, um, okay. Uh, you two shouldn't be allowed to vote. I'm I was re- like, what's up? I'm reading this from the article that was not Sal saying. Well, condescending. This is the condescending Women's this History article. Month. The w- women wrote this article. Uh, yeah, okay. The, they did. The Wyoming Territorial <laughs> Legislature gave every woman the right to vote in 1869, according oh, to history.com. Okay. They elected the country's first female governor in 1924. Wow, wow. Wyoming. Yeah, Nellie Taylor Ross. Ross. Yeah. All right. Did you know this? That it wasn't until 1965 Mm -hmm. that all women could legally vote. Yeah, I knew it was definitely later than... Yes. Yeah, It was later than the amendment. Mm -hmm. So the amendment was signed into law in uh, 1920. But even after 1924, Native women and other women of color were prevented from voting by state laws, such as poll taxes and literacy tests. It wasn't until 1965 when Mm -hmm. President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Voting Rights Act into law that discriminatory tactics such as literacy tests were outlawed and all women could vote. Yeah, I know. That is crazy. It's 1965. Because that does feel like yesterday. Uh, Here's something. Here's something. uh, And I think this was a History Bites. Did you know that Claudette Colvin refused to give up her bus seat nine months before Rosa Parks did? Yes. Nothing about uh, Claudette Colvin, right? She was young and pregnant, right? She was young. She was a young mother. Uh Yeah, she was 15 years old. Yeah. Yeah, so she kinda got uh, well, aside. yeah, well, it's Sarah, we'll put that also in the sh- in the show notes because uh, she was fifteen and pregnant. She was fifteen. Oh, and she was young, like she was pregnant or just had a baby. Like I'm pretty sure that like she was like a harder person to like rally around. I was gonna say that's why. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she was yeah. a hard sell. Yeah, of, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So mm. okay, so who was the first woman to pass astronaut testing in 1961? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Is that Sally Ride? No. no. She was in the 80s. Yeah, that was the 80s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was uh, Geraldine Jerry Cobb, oh. the first woman to pass uh, astronaut testing, uh, but she wasn't allowed to travel to space due to her gender. So that's <laughs> terrible. She testified on Capitol Hill in 1962 saying, quote, we women pilots... We no. women pilots who want to be part of the research and participation <laughs> in space exploration are not trying to join a battle of the sexes. Earlier, you can send a dog yeah, and a, a pig a and a monkey to the moon, <laughs> but not me. I hope that was part of her speech. She did say that, yes. Yes, okay. It's, yeah. it's oh, not yeah. in this article, but I'm sure she said it. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, and incidentally, a couple of days ago, uh, SpaceX, they, they launched a, a capsule up to i would not be on that flight up to the um the space station mm-hmm. it was just empty but it had okay yeah. uh, no, the, i'm sorry it wasn't empy it had it had women did not have it. people <laughs> it did not have people they sent all it. the women it that you don't have... want on earth <laughs> into it, space it did not that's why it's so popular it did not have people in it it had supplies <laughs> in it but the recovery you know, i was like hey guys i have a great idea the recovery ship <laughs> was staffed completely by women <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So they recovered it. <laughs> Do you know what the recovery ship's name is? What? Doug. <laughs> <laughs> well, a couple years ago, they had the all female spacewalk. The first That's true. All female yeah. spacewalk. Mm. I remember I was I was on <clears throat> desk and I was watching it because I'm like, this is history. <laughs> and what? It is. It is yeah. Now yeah. this I did not know. This I had no idea. Yes. Okay. Yes. I knew part of this, but not the whole thing. Okay. Okay. About 20 years later, Sally Ride was the first woman in space. Mm -hmm. First woman in space. What a good name, too. And did you know this? Mm. She was the first gay astronaut. Oh. Oh, See? We had no idea. Uh, Sally Ride became the first woman in space on June 18th, 18, uh, excuse me, 1983, when she flew on the space shuttle Challenger. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until her death that her obituary revealed that she was gay. Mm Hmm. So there you go. Sally Ride. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's probably the first gay astronaut that actually came out gay. Right. I'm I was sure this. Yes. Yeah. I'm, you know. I'm sure, there's other, other others that didn't. Yes. Yes. Yeah. See now this I don't know this is controversial. Women couldn't get credit cards on their own until 1974. Well, they you still know? shouldn't give me one. So. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> You, yep. you said it. You said it, not me. That Absolutely. was Nicole. Take that it away. That was Nicole. <laughs> what percentage of Congress are made up by women? 10%. No more. 40. No, too much. <laughs> 11%. No, Nicole. <laughs> that would be too many. No. They're all in space. 
Twenty-seven <laughs> percent. Oh, so many! <laughs> the ones who get elected, that goes over. They just shoot. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new uh, celebratory, uh, yeah, party uh, that we do for women. Okay, the percentage. <laughs> did you know that the percentage of women from <laughs> Middle Country Public Library podcast? Oh yeah, one hundred percent are silly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. True or false, more <laughs> more women are earning college degrees than men. True. That's correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Women are outnumbering men in earning yeah. uh, post-secondary degrees. According to the 2021 data from the Education Data Initiative, 59% of women continue their education after high school compared to 50% of men. Mm. Here you go, Sarah. This is for you. Oh. The gender pay gap still persists. Despite the ever-growing number of women getting degrees, the gender pay gap has narrowed by less than half a cent per year since the Equal Pay Act was signed in 1963, according to Forbes. Mm-hmm. Did you know that women make up 14% of active duty military members? I don't know. That's pretty good. Yeah. Women also make up 23% of officers in the Coast Guard. My aunt was in the Coast Guard. Yeah, so That's almost rough. a quarter of the yeah. officers in the Coast Guard are women. Mm. Uh, still not enough, but still yeah. pretty good. And in January 2013, the U.S. government lifted its ban on women serving in combat positions. Mm. So we know where we're sending Nicole and Sarah the next big war. <laughs> yeah, to space. <laughs> <laughs> to space. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you also know mm. that Aretha Franklin was the first woman inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Wow. That is Ooh, crazy. Yeah. That is crazy. When? Uh, so known as the Queen of Soul, Aretha mm. Franklin was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in, this is cra- again, crazy, 1987. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? That's no crazy. one before yeah. that? There was no one before it. That's There's kind of ridiculous. Plenty mm. of women yeah. in Rock and Roll yeah, before exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah, what, what, Ike and Tina, right? Tina was... Probably around the same time as uh, Aretha, maybe a little earlier. I don't know. Yeah. She's she's known for her rendition of Otis Redding's Respect and songs of her own, like You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman. She was also involved in civil rights activism mm. and performed at President Barack Obama's inauguration in 2009. I remember that. Yeah. <clears throat> and finally, I think we all know this. Uh, Kamala Harris. Yeah. The first woman. And woman of color, mm-hmm. vice president. Vice president. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, first woman, first black woman, and first Asian American vice president in U.S. history. And I'd like to thank Elizabeth Berry and Mule Salt Usagan. The, the authors of, the the authors article. of mm. this article, which is from Good Housekeeping. Oh, yeah. nice. Yes, Good Housekeeping is still around. So there you go. There's for your, women. Yes. Yeah. And, that's what they should be doing. And I printed yeah. out this article and they Either have like- keeping house or going to space. Yeah. These huge, gigantic byline photos of them. It's like Good. a full page photos of them. So I, I did know. see that and I was like, who it's is like, that? Who are these people? <laughs> yeah. So we'll put, the, we'll put this in the show notes again. It's, I didn't do all 25, but this is 25 fascinating facts for Women's History Month mm. and all year long. And uh, let's continue to celebrate- a women this month and every single month. That's right. I'm gonna be month. like, mm, where every, are we going with this, Sal? And every day. And every yeah. day. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I always say that. I, I, you know, maybe I'm I'm naive or something, but I always say that about everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's celebrate women every day. Let's celebrate yeah. whatever you want to celebrate. Let's celebrate it every day. National Sandwich Day yeah. every day. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and guess who's making them? Women. women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in space <Yeah. laughs> it's all jokes okay well this was a silly episode and I'm, I apologize for that but it wasn't me it was these two over here what? Very informative. <laughs> and if you want to listen to older episodes or read our show notes visit our website mcplpodcast.com or blog.mcplpodcast.com mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so that's a more in-depth thing where you're putting very simple show notes on the feed and a little more in-depth with the blog Okay, and if you're watching on YouTube, hit subscribe again. Thank you so much for getting us over a thousand. Some 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 people actually unsubscribed after I said it. Just really? Probably out of spite. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> wait, is it still at a thousand? Yes, we're still oh, over okay. a thousand. Okay, okay. Yes, so definitely uh, do that and click the like button. We'd uh, we'd appreciate that. So for Sarah Fade mm-hmm. and Nicole Rambo, I'm Sally Vincenzo. We'll see you on the next show.